That would be cool. I mean, there's there's not enough content in this game for that. Yeah. Not. Right. I'm so upset right now. Console has like this. Um, I don't know if I would call it an exploit. It's like this 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 glitch that everyone's doing. Uh, they they reset their their time on their console mm -hmm. to reset all the assignments to farm unlimited poly. Jeez. Huh. It's so annoying. So if you just change your time, it yeah, works. Yeah, on your console, yep. Huh. It's weird. It doesn't work for PC. I mean, it would work if you had a VPN and then maybe change it a different, to like a different country. Yeah. But then, you know, I don't know. I'll yeah. Right. Then you run into, I don't know, other... Sometimes to, other issues. Huh? To watch the dog now. God damn. Uh oh, okay. It shouldn't be too, too long. My dad should be home at any minute now. Okay. Um, I have like one or two missions and I'll be back. All right. Sounds good, Pat. I guess we can knock out this uh, hive then. If you want to jump on whatever character you want. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'll use my Kamalo. The Forest Hive Elite. Do you want me to set my companions up? Because I don't know if you have your other companions at level 50. Uh, no, I don't have them at 50, but you can... Yeah, you can set them up so that way they, they join in. All right. So I think I'll by use... default or something, doesn't... It pulls, like, whoever it can in anyways. Unless, I don't... I'm not sure exactly how it works, to be honest. No, so if you're if you're the leader, um, it'll prioritize your companions first. Oh, uh, really? Huh. Yeah. I'll uh, I'll uncheck mine then, or make sure they're unchecked. Yeah. I'll use my Hulk and. Should I do Iron Man or Thor? Uh, I mean, they're all 50 for you, so if they're all 50, it's up to you. Hulk and... i say... I kind of want to say Thor. Alright, let's go Thor. I'm ready whenever you're ready. Oh. Who's your, uh... So While your Hulk is, Manhattan, like, your favorite character? Several shield uh, no, Kamala's actually my favorite character. Okay. Nice. I didn't. I did make the Hulk first. The Avengers but help. Yeah. Man, when I found out about Kamala and what she can do, oh, <laughs> amazing! She can self revive twice. Really? Uh, I'm attempting she can to locate the shield revive her will update your HUD shortly. teammates instantly. Aim will most certainly um, try to hamper your progress. Be careful. Uh, what else can she do? She has. Uh. Her ultimate does a shit ton of damage. Yeah. And she auto that auto parries and dodges. Yeah, that's really build, nice there. If you build it right. But her intrinsic energy drops really fast. Okay. Look out! Got some bad guys. But the self revive is like a must, especially in raids. I think Kamal's gonna going to be like down. meta in raids. Yeah. Huh. I didn't know that she had all that to it. Oh, yeah. Neither did I until I really yeah. looked at her skill tree. That's pretty sick. I, that's one thing I can't wait to do is to actually get, like, all my characters, like, 50 and stuff. So that way, like, they're at least effective. Like, even if I'm playing by myself. Especially, with, like, when the new characters come out. God damn. I'm just trying to open the door. Leave me alone. God damn. 
Okay. Are you up right. at the uh, the terminal? Ah, uh, here. Yeah. I guess it's not. Yeah, it's not showing me your name right okay. now. Everyone for me, like every hero is good, but like, go. yeah. If I had to, if I had to, like, make a tier list from like worst to be uh, best to worst, um, it would be Kamala, uh, Thor, Iron Man, Hulk, Widow, and then Cat. Really? Yeah. Is there uh, just like off of? Like all their skills, I guess, and stuff. All their skills, yeah, and what they can do, like just like overall, like oh, what God. they can do. Damn it, my computer's crashed. Oh shit. Yeah. Kind of felt something coming on soon because my game is like kind of started dropping a little bit there. But damn. Honestly, man, like in, in the beginning, from I say like September first to September fifth, like my game has been running amazing. But ever since yeah. that latest patch that they made for Steam. Okay. Like, I've been getting nothing but crashes. Huh. I don't know if you've experienced that too or not. I, like, the Steam, like, the latest patch for the game itself or for Steam? Yeah, like, for, like, like for the game. Okay. Um, recently, it's kind of honestly been the opposite for me. Where it was, like, for up until the patch, it was running, like, so it was stuttering so much but then after the patch dropped i was like you know what i'm just gonna reset all my my settings and start fresh and see what what works and what doesn't so i changed everything up and since then i mean like it still drops in frames and everything but it's a lot more it it feels a lot more stable I don't know if it had anything to do with the patch though. I don't think the the patch really affected it. I think it was kind of just me saying, all right, I'm just gonna reset the settings, but I could be wrong, I don't know. It definitely, I it's definitely noticeable when it drops, but it's, it's not as stuttery for me as like before, whatever previous settings I had. And have you played this game while not streaming? Uh, yeah. I mean, for for the most part, it doesn't like now. It doesn't change much. Um, before I had a few times where it was, it would crash and stuff. Um, because the what I did essentially was change it so the game uses more uh, GPU now over CPU. And right. the software that I use, um, cause I have two PCs, so I use NDI yeah. and then it does NDI over to the other thing, but that would freeze sometimes too. So now it's kind of like NDI is streaming this PC onto the next one. And that's taking like not too much CPU, but it's using like half of it. And then the game is running more on the, the GPU. It's pretty smart. Yeah, it, it kind of works out a little bit. My well, other so PC your, your is like old PC, as hell. Yeah. <laughs> Having a second PC helps a lot, I'm assuming. Yeah, it definitely does. Um, I literally just, it was sitting in my closet, like, because it was my one, old one, uh, and it's crashed again. What the hell? <laughs> oh, I've shit. never had too many, two crashes like this in like that close. Uh, do you use, um, do you have like an an Nvidia graphics card or yeah, or what? yeah? Or is it AMD? Uh, it's Nvidia. Okay. Uh, you have G four, right? Yeah. Yep. Uh, when when you when you install your driver updates, do you do Express or custom? Uh, most of the time I do Express. Okay, because um, one of the developers in the discord for this game we're saying that uh people who do express miss out on a lot of 
uh, patches for their for their mm. drivers if they do if they don't do custom because like the like the latest update if you do custom you're actually missing out on four updates for your graphics card really yeah so if you you can like reinstall the drivers and then up like in, reinstall it and yeah do like the whole custom thing I can run through it real quick actually and then um he also said that launching the game through GeForce is actually better. Can you actually, does it show up in? Yeah, yeah, you just have to scan for games and then it'll Oh, show okay. Up. I'll reinstall the. Give me a shot. <laughs> Yeah, when he told me that, I was like, oh, yeah, I need all this stuff. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So, like, majority, are they saying majority of the time, like, there's extra stuff in when you yeah. do custom? Yeah. Okay. You'll see what you're missing when once it loads up. Okay, HDR. <laughs> Are you excited for those new graphic cards? Yeah, I um, I honestly, if I so I I have a 2070 Super. Um, mm. I went from a 1070 to the 2070 Super, like probably like a I see, like all this additional stuff. So the base thing is that like the only thing that comes in, like when you do the uh the driver install. Yeah, so yeah, because you already have it, right? Yeah. So uh you can either do you can do like a clean installation if you want, but you don't you don't really have to. That yeah. just makes like a whole new file just to make everything clean. Okay, it restores it. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Uh bad, not really driver issues, but just giving it a, a retry to install it. Supposedly installing it with custom um gives you some other updates. Uh, patches and stuff for the game or well potentially for everything but yeah but mostly for your gpu yeah um but yeah what were we talking about uh oh yeah the <laughs> oh god my screen's gonna be going off like crazy now oh you're going with your graphics card your super yeah that uh, so i upgraded to the 2070 super um like probably I want to say like three or four months ago but if I knew that they were coming out with the the 3080 at the price point it's coming out right now I definitely would have waited but oh well um whenever it does drop and like probably when it drops like two hundred dollars or there's a sale or something like that then I'll probably pick it up because it is a, a decent jump even from like the 2070 to the uh, the 3080 and then the, the 3090 I mean I would love to but it's a little expensive I think <laughs> you think uh, people are saying that like the, that the 3090 is a little overkill I mean nothing is overkill if you're if you're going to build a PC just yeah. go all the way right so yeah that's another thing I want to wait for the benchmarks and everything too to see what it actually is pushing. Right. I understand pe some people uh, Some people want to be on a budget build. Yeah. So, I mean, the 30, 3080 is not too bad. If I can... Oh, I was also getting some tips into, like getting a um, better performance so when i stream so he, he he also gave me a tip in saying that you can overclock your cpu through mm -hmm. your bios like using xmp or something like that uh i don't know it, it was too much for me to remember what he said it was like overwhelming yeah i i mean i think overclocking is like i don't know personally i've never really been into it because like 
for myself because i know right. like you can push things but i'm just like always afraid of pushing things too far and i know there's a lot of like actual like configuration coming with it that you have to kind of like uh look like yeah you have to know what you're doing <laughs> yeah exactly you can't just like okay put everything to the max all right launch the game and all of a sudden now your computer is like up. <laughs> eating up yeah and there's definitely, you know, there's people out there that do that too. And then they're oh, like, oh, what happened? I'm just like, nah, I'd rather not. I mean, as much as I think, I just don't think there's a big enough jump where it's going to be like crazy. Like, oh my God. But I could be wrong at the same time though. Yeah, I have no idea. I've it's never done not, it. Yeah. I'm just scared to do it. <laughs> We'll see if this uh, helps out here. I'll give it a try. I think I have seen a few other people do like custom installs sometimes too with the graphics drivers and stuff. But yeah, when he told me, I I I don't know. Like, I mean, I I see a big green button. I'm gonna press it, right? Yeah, like, right. <laughs> if there's not anything button. specific you need, you're right? Yeah, I did not know that until he <laughs> told me. I'm like, I've been I had right, this I PC for that. about two years or not this pc i've been on pc for two years but i've never done custom in my life mm -hmm. uh oh okay. forgot my screen's frozen right now audio is still going through that's the one thing with uh using ndi i'm basically streaming my Imagine right using Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Some people try it. I'm like, nope, nope. Not doing that. There we go. That's back up to date. Yeah, I, I would restart the game and then run it through GeForce. Um, uh, I don't know if I... I'll try it. Oh boy, I might have to scan for the. I have too much shit installed too. Uh, it's on my D drive. This has actually come up as a supported game. Yep. Okay, it does. Huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you go to um the GeForce supported games list, it's mm -hmm. in there. I'm surprised they didn't drop like a game ready driver or something like that for it. Yeah, that's it's because of Intel, that's why. Okay. So it was because of that. I see the game. I saw it a second ago. Uh it's actually under Marvel's Avengers. I think. Should be. Oh, there it is. I see it. Well, I saw it a second ago. Right beside Metal Gear on top of NBA. Aha. Does it actually let you do any of like the uh the op optimization or anything? Oh yeah. Too? Uh so you gotta click um uh the optimize button and then okay. it'll put it to what I think it's because it's still you. scanning for all the games right now. Do you get duplicates sometimes too? No, I don't think I've ever had. I I get weird duplicates sometimes. Yeah, uh, no, that's a bad example. I've had times where it showed up. I scanned for like all the games, and it showed up two and two and two and two. It was like what? Two yeah. Pat the back tiles, two. Gwen's wow yeah it was showing all, all types of stuff i'm kind of nervous about doing this i don't know if i'm gonna optimize it through through this right now no you're fine just click um just click the okay. optimize button and then that's it all right let me see i'm gonna change it to 30 
for the scaling. I mean, that it's for what's best. It's oh. what's best for your GPU. Yeah. It's up to you, man. You know. I'm gonna leave it for right now, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna see how if this runs any better. <laughs> 189 games installed. Sheesh. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I have this thing where I like downloading games, even though I, know I can only play one at a time. Oh. All right, here we go. Let's do this. You got them all installed on an SSD or hard drive? No. Uh majority of the games are just regular hard drive and then uh any secondary games i put on an external design if they're not like anything special then i see how they run on the external and then if it runs horribly then i move it to the regular hard drive depending on what it is Are you excited for a new content for this game? Absolutely. I mean, like, I mean, like, I feel like the game does have like good content right now, but like, I can definitely see where, like, somebody from your point where you kind of already went through everything. <laughs> so like, now it's like, all right, I want more, and I totally get that. Like, I thought I was going fast through it, but I know there's like a lot of other people have been like flying through it. So, oh, yeah. I get that. I mean, if you if you uh, uh, if people haven't been cheating this game on console, then they would be yeah. where I'm at right now. But every people on console already have all their heroes at fifty and max power and right? max Jesus. Yeah, it's so annoying to know that. Do you know how to? Have you gotten any exotics yet? Yes, I have one on my Hulk. Okay. Are they just like completely random drops? Do you know how the drop works? Or you know what? I people ask me. They're like, "How'd you get that exotic?" Yeah, I, I, I don't remember. I don't. I I don't. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was just curious. I I just haven't seen like I've seen it on the Reddit and stuff like of people like posting whatever whatever they have, but um, like I I just don't know the the actual. How, how it works right now, at least. Oh, there you go. Nice. I remember I was doing a hive, but I don't remember what I did to get okay. it. Okay. I can, I think I can see like the, the hives being like the more, uh, I will just run it like this. Fail to join session. What? Yeah, that's. Oh, what the? I thought I saw you in here, but then. Hmm. Did you get my other invite? No, I did not. Oh. Uh... Oh, there we go. Got that one? Yep. Okay, cool. So how many uh how many major artifacts do you have right now? Is it the one, two, three, four, four five. Oh. Um the only reason why I have five is because I got one through the five gun promotion thing. Uh okay. Which doesn't <laughs> really do anything, it's just all cosmetic looks and shit okay is it really just yeah yeah interesting you press l3 and r3 on controller or q and e on your keyboard and then mm -hmm. like it does some shining glowy look over your character huh did it put you into this yeah it's oh there it is okay but yeah i think 
Right, yeah. I don't have any companions. We have located another elite so. hive that's building adaptoids. Let's pay the place a visit and take it offline. Yeah, I was you gonna go to, uh, like, local grocery store and try to see if there's any uh, five gun it, packs or it, something. It wasn't even worth it. No, yeah. <laughs> nothing about the, those five gun rewards was worth it. Uploading the entrances. <laughs> Maybe the mall is to your emote, part. but that's pretty much. Be it. careful. Okay. Yeah. This is one of like Aim's the, higher security The bubble gun high. thing or whatever. Yeah. I think the um, kind of like the the Intel skins looks kind of cool, and the I think I liked sort of some of the Verizon ones that they had, but they'll eventually. I've come marked the Elite Hive's entry us. terminal on your HUD. You think so? You don't think it's exclusive? It's no. They said that all of them are going to be timed. Like it's pretty much confirmed that everything's. Timed exclusive for now. Whoa, I don't even see the waypoint for the objective. What the hell? Uh, yeah, it's all the way back here. There's also a guy walking in the air right now. Yeah, I think this m mission is bugged because I can't see any objectives. Uh, it might just be your, your HUD right now. Let's see if uh, I've had, I had like a similar issue where it didn't show me anything before. Get me to that but terminal. It should still like work. What the door is in the back? I see like. <laughs> oh my god! I can I can walk. Through. Hey, actually. Yeah, I'm scared though. If I fall off the map. <laughs> yeah, it's open. It's like I'm gonna jump. Yep, I died. No. Okay, you. yeah, I see. <laughs> this game, see, I was saying this earlier too. I was like, if the gameplay was not as fun as it is for this game, like, this game would get so much crap for it. Like, there's definitely some, uh, some already does. pretty heavy. Yeah, I know. It would get even worse though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, how I'm, am I supposed to go inside after you open the door? Uh, I think now I should. Avenger, no, it's, it's still like bug. I think I have to wait for you to open the door, then go inside, and then wait. For okay. You to we just need to secure the area, and then we can try. I have bypassed I'll protect elevator you. security. No. Wait, no, wait. You already pressed the button. Now nah, you should be able to. Yeah, if I go in there, I see nothing but like. Oh, uh, really? Open map. Oh, jeez. <laughs> see if, uh, hopefully loading the new area fixes it or something. Uh oh. Um. Uh, I'm the only one in this room. <laughs> What the hell? Uh, let's try re reloading checkpoint. See if that does anything. This is the cause of the developers actually doing stuff in the game right now. <laughs> right. I have those uh, those Twitter notifications on, so I'm just waiting. For the hey, we just released the new patch. Restart your games to install it. It won't make it worse. <laughs> uh, there we go. Wow, that actually worked. I, oh, oh, hopefully I don't jinx it. Remember, we are entering one of Aim's higher I, tier. I love high Thor's facility. level fifty skin. He looks so nice. Yeah. That's pretty sick. I'm locked out of like basically An all my skins. Aim team is close by and on alert. Updating your HUD. But luckily, I really like this one. Even though it's like a, a super basic one. 
I, I see like Captain America's level 50 skin is so weird. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I think I like his like um his uh Jesus. Um I can't remember it off the top of my head. His like level uh, there's one in one of the pages of his challenge card I really like. Um there's like two or three in there actually that I like, but I still can't get over like this all black suit. I really like this thing. Every yeah, member of the elite that. team must be defeated. The one thing that I really do like about Captain, well, so far, is um, all right. like once Let's you actually do, do get into the brawler mode, being able to, to pretty much do takedown after takedown and everyone increasing his uh uh the brawler attacks or not atta uh, down. the length of it is really nice so what does that do extra damage right but yeah so it does increase damage and then um you can have it set where pretty much Anytime a character or an enemy is critically wounded, you can well do a done. takedown. Squad member has been so then uh, every takedown drops another heroic orb. And then also every takedown extends the time frame by an extra three seconds. So essentially, if you time another it right, you can be in the brawler mode like almost indefinitely if you set it up properly. Like right now, I almost have it spawned for the earth enough charge rate for the next use but i ran out of time if i got one more takedown then it would have worked but that is the, the one thing that i do really like about captain kind of one of the reasons that i've like stuck at as him for a bit now here's a real question though the team when no rates come out right? and everyone has only <laughs> one life you yeah that be helpful now for for that it definitely i mean now in that case no it probably won't but i don't know maybe like taking taking down ads it would like yeah. definitely if you're because if you can it only takes a few hits between enemies to get them into a point where you can do a takedown and then it's spawning heroic orbs heroic orbs like after each time so like if you can gain control of aim people are very dependent on their abilities I can then, yeah. infiltrate their security system. by taking down like a big boss or something like that probably they not gain access to the terminal. i don't know you cannot let them. do you want to watch uh b and c or do you want to watch a uh i'll watch I'm inside b and aim c security system. Okay. and jump between them oh, sad. aim is trying to remove me from their systems that helps, thank you. Down you go. Beginning infiltration. The funny thing is that I was gonna uh I was literally going to main Thor and then uh the guy that I was playing with earlier, Soldier Pat, he originally said that he helps. wanted to thank do you. uh to play Thor, so I was like, okay, well, if Pat's gonna play Thor, I need to go as somebody else, and I was like, yeah, well, I'll try out Captain, because I like his shield abilities and stuff. And then I just got Captain so high to the point where I was like, yeah, I'm gonna stick with him, but now I've been, like, when I'm not working on, like, his challenge card, or, like, the main missions and stuff, uh, pretty much chill with Thor, or whoever. My goal is to eventually get everybody up uh, of course. The shutdown protocol is trying to get everyone to at least Don't do something you'll regret. Then, yeah. I'm inside AIM uh, security system. Start going from 130 to 140 with like Kamala now first. Because mm. I regretted that with Hulk. Yeah. Hulk's really good, man, but then he, he's not that good. Mm -hmm. I'm about that. I, I was playing as mainly like Hulk in the beta and I, I loved it. Aim has but then <laughs> having these options, I was like, ah, oh, man. 
I mean, I think Hulk is going to be like the third person that I work on after I get like my goal is to just pretty much work on each person and get them to 50. Do you, do you see this? Do you see this like pool of gamma over here? Yeah. Yep. So, yeah, this is Hulk's move when when he uses that clap and okay. it refills your refills your intrinsic energy. Okay. I the, see that's the one thing I do. I haven't figured out like using the intrinsic and the shield for actually blocking for for captain like for I have it on toggle so like I don't know I don't know I just haven't figured out like how to use it uh efficiently this hive boasts top tier security which is not surprising I haven't messed around with cap because <laughs> like I said like for me he's the worst so he's gonna be the last one for me to like, yeah. Aim has a set out. of turbines I powering get to one him, of their emergency I'll, I'll see generators. Like, what Disable he's actually them. capable of and stuff like that. I've seen like people run some like good combos and stuff, and like apparently his commander's call ability is pretty good. Like the thing that I just did right there. You need to but I don't do it enough to for it turbine. to like be really too effective for me. I feel like. Wait, Hulk? I didn't know your AIs can do takedowns. It's rare. I'm pretty sure it's like very rare. They don't like doing that. I don't think. It's yeah. I've I've also Destroy seen some turbine. like some people say where like they had like a fully maxed out like Iron Man, and even though like he has like has a lot of abilities for like flight and stuff. He would never get off the ground or use any of those abilities. So like he would only do like basic punches and other other things like that. Bring the pain, people. Yeah, it's that turbine weird. is finished. Yeah, well I think done. the AI needs a like a little bit of a like some sort of uh, a I don't know. Yeah, just to make him a, a little bit more effective. Do you prefer um, playing with AI sometimes, or do you like majority of the time like match make? I'll do both. It doesn't really matter to me. Yeah, I personally majority of the time I prefer matchmaking, but with the current state, like it's kind of difficult, especially like when it comes to like harder missions. I hate that the fact that like the um, uh, when you're playing by yourself, you can only go down three times. And then you got to restart at whatever your latest checkpoint was. Well, good thing Kamala <laughs> gets like. Yeah. That insta revive, though, that makes it like perfect for if you're playing like pretty much by yourself, then. Yo, Pat. You're back? Got you a present! Okay. Dad decided to disappear because he got the spooks and decided never to come back. Hmm. Can't so, make all right. this easy we're doing this. Longer. Okay. Um, we're doing this hive right now, and then after, I uh, join up with you. The generator uh, is no longer I'll functioning. See if I can do a war zone. Yeah, you can probably. You should. I mean, we have three more waves left, so. Probably do three more. <laughs> Yeah, two, two more zones. I think the um, the drop zones count as them, if I remember correctly. And they're like quick 10 minute missions. Are those at 10? Okay. Yeah, I'll, that's I'll try like one the super out. short ones. All for his assignments? Yeah. Yeah, or, anything counts. Any mission counts towards it. Okay. Unless it specifically says drop zone or war zone on it, then. Oh, it says war zone. Yeah, so, yeah, every every mission is a war zone, but if it oh, yeah, okay. drops zone, then that's different. Yeah, okay, then, yeah, so the drop zone should work then. There's just another name for missions for them. That's Head for the location yeah, on that, your that confused me so much when they, they said, like, oh, you have war zones, you have, 
uh, like all these, I forget what, a what all the terms they use, but by. I thought like war zones were specifically like, it would say war zone, but every mission is a war zone. And then you have threat sectors and then uh, villain sectors and like hives, you have yeah, hives, vaults. <laughs> vaults. I, I got like pretty confused with that at first and I was like, what? But. I wonder what they're going to call for raids. A chest with gear nearby. <laughs> they should just keep it simple, raids. <laughs> what do you think? What What would the the hives be? I guess hives are technically like, I would hate saying it, but it strikes, essentially. Because yeah. yeah. like... Because if you're just running, that'd be cool if they add like a um uh although it's like very similar for some things it's completely different obviously but like it'd be nice if they gave us like how destiny has like a a strike um quick quick match type thing it'd be nice if they gave us like a quick match for hives and like okay here's your daily hive do this with people or and get like upgrade modules or whatever it may be. I want to do something like that until there's a like a bunch of stuff available. Yeah. To rotate stuff like dailies and weeklies out. The good thing is, I mean, regardless of like, I guess everything with the game right now, like this game is going to be a completely different game in a year. You know. Oh yeah, that's what that's what everyone's banking on. So Everyone, hopefully, this game is gonna be free to play to you. You think? Ah, I don't think so. I hope not. I spent eighty dollars on this game. <laughs> I don't matter though if it's free. I mean, people spend it, a lot of money on Destiny and ended up being free to play. Yeah, I can see it being. I can see it being free after. Uh, like year two, maybe. Yeah, year it's two like year or one. three. One year, I think, would be crazy. But they also are saying right now that all of the um, the challenge cards and stuff for for launch for all six characters are free. So I can definitely see it down the line where the the premium rewards for the starting six characters become a like did you no get a good chest here? Uh, I got one. Is there a second? Oh, yeah, okay. it's, um, when you go inside, it's right on the right side. To the right. Like, okay. Right. That would be crazy, though. I think, but I, I'm okay with it, if it's like long enough down the line. Oh yeah, I think I did actually get it. Yeah, I did. But it, again, it is Marvel. So like they could do, I I think they can honestly like do whatever, because it's is of how big they are. These enemies must be defeated. See, like I, I don't mind there being like the same the same enemies like in every every goddamn map or mission. Mm -hmm. But like my only complaint is like I'll I'll support this game in any way, like obviously buying those credits and you know buying skins and shit, but mm -hmm. I just want content man. Like that's all that's all I want. I just yeah. want to continue to enjoy this game. Don't you know, do something you'll regret. I've even talked to a few developers saying that hey if i start a petition and i end up getting like at least a thousand people to sign it then you guys have to do it like please <laughs> i want there to be pvp in this game i really do <laughs> that would be interesting i don't know i honestly don't know how it would work but i can uh, so i in the bit like once i write it i'm going to say that um pvp is going to be totally separated from uh co-op or whatever it is I've yeah Avengers. and it's just gonna be you know maybe you get maybe they move the 
the hero challenge cards to PvP instead of it being part of uh, you know, co-op. Yeah. Just be specifically only for PvP. And then... I think PvP they would have to... Sorry, go, go. For that, I think they would have to... I think adding it as an option would be really good. I don't think... Because personally, yeah, yeah. like, I'm not a big PvP person. But if there was PvP and there's challenge card, like, points that you can get towards it, then I would 100% do PvP for that. Yeah. But... So if that was the case for myself, I know I would at least do it. The enemies have been defeated. And then um, PvP would be like in the harm room kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And it would be maybe like a hero versus villains kind of thing. I don't know. Like I haven't really thought about it that far yet. Yeah. I can you see it though. Change, you would have to change up the, the combat mechanics first of all. Because, you know, people would have pin particle ability <laughs> and, True. and, you only and then like all the stuns Sorry, and stuff I, I don't know how it, i don't know i have to really think about it yeah i could definitely the see that or it would be interesting it just be a race you know like two people head to head uh whoever finishes a harm room faster these enemies I must know. be defeated i think that is more probably like it definitely easily be implemented right, i don't know about pvp but like the leaderboards type thing for sure because everybody loves leaderboards yeah especially when it's like okay who's the number one up there I love God. that AOE attack. <laughs> yeah. Attack formation. Even today, I don't know if it was today or yesterday, but uh, their Twitter, uh, their Twitter posts of Coming saying that you. you know if there's any suggestions to yeah to the game. I did see that. Join our Discord and feel free to give it a, give us your feedback. That, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I've been seeing a, a ton of like a lot of people. Like it's crazy. I mean, like even what you're saying is is really good. I think in like feedback wise. But like I've been seeing a lot of things. Like even other people are saying like on the Reddit and stuff and like posting it there saying like oh here's like some quality of life improvements like if you add this and that and like from from what it sounds like they are like actually taking things into consideration it's just like it's gonna take a bit for everything to, to eventually come out but, That's what I mean, though. Like, in a year, this game is going to have so much more stuff, like, compared to right now, oh, yeah. which is, is going to be pretty cool. And I'm so in on it. Like, I don't, I'm not one to stick around for games for a while, because, like, I just don't have, like, a good attention span like that. But, like, since it's Marvel, and, like, it's kind of, like, the perfect type of game where it's, like, RPG-ish in a way. Like it's it works out perfect for me. Somebody who never really does play games like this, like day in and day out. I got a question for both of you, and I I ask this to everyone that plays this game. Would you guys still play this game, minus all the bugs and stuff the like that, if this wasn't a Marvel on the final game? Floor. I Be ready. I thought they about that like literally a day ago, and I was like, I personally I don't think I would. If it wasn't, if it wasn't for it being Marvel and me being so like into, just into like all the characters that they have, if this was just like another game, I mean like maybe, but I, I, I really can't see myself even sticking around like as long as I am right now, like playing it just because like it goes back to that like I don't have the attention span to like stick around or like if there's so many other stuff that I want to play out there too. 
like I think for me it's the sole aspect of it being like Marvel like it's something that really really interests me and like it's fun <laughs> yeah what he said <laughs> actually pretty, yeah, hmm? I said you feel the same way yeah, I feel the same way. Like, I'm a stickler when it comes to bugs and like choppy frame rates and stuff like that. And the only reason why I'm still sticking with it is because it's Marvel. And I'm not really a fan of beat em ups at all, this really. I only bought it because it's Marvel themed. And I like the characters. I think that I, I feel like for the majority of the people, that might be the case too. Like, because, like, I mean, if you look at just like base Marvel fans, like, I mean, I can be even put into that categorization of like, we eat this shit up, you know, like stuff like this drops and it's like, of course you're going to spend that money on it, whether it's good or bad, like you still want to try it. And like, there's tons, I guarantee there's tons of casual gamers out there that, that like never wait, wait for for games or like really play often that are like that already picked this game up solely on the fact that it's marvel so add that in like yeah i, I we both kind of thought that it was like gonna be torn to shreds by pc gamers when this game drops because uh, is it still very positive i think so from the last time i checked it was And that's through Metacritic or what? Uh, uh, just the Steam. Yeah, just Steam even Steam either. itself. I need to check Metacritic reviews because I haven't yet. I think Metacritic has been pretty positive. I could be wrong. I don't know, actually. But, um, yeah. I'm, like, is for the base aspect of thinking, like, how much gamers, like, especially PC gamers, like to can't complain about games like running really shitty i'm just honestly amazed at like how much that people are actually putting up with it and i've seen a few Every threads on the reddit really too that say defeated. like dude if this game wasn't as fun as it is there's no way i would actually be sticking around like Here they come. so that i don't know Do you think you would play it if if it wasn't Marvel, or you would like it as much? Uh, it's very hard to say. Like okay. I'm like in, in the borderline of yes and no. Yeah. Let's shake this up. I, can... I, I really do, I, I really do like brawler games like this, like mm -hmm. just really brawler games. It's pretty fun. Is it like but, the uh, gameplay that catches you, or is it like the? Um, like the co-op part of it, like playing with other I think people. It's a little bit of everything, to be honest. Okay. Well, like that I said, like for me, it's it's all about content. Like this game does not have enough content. Coming yeah. at it's definitely a lot of reskins, like for the missions and One stuff. Of their agents is down. And like, yeah. yeah, I can definitely see that. I think like the fact of upgrading. And everything it kind of like like upgrading getting new equipment Excellent. like Another that kind of stuff down. like helps with um kind of like i don't know like to distract you from like yeah what's bad about the game yeah i think like that kind of stuff Another like definitely helps but i can see like if you have <laughs> i mean if in your case or if you have all the characters upgraded you have like maybe not the highest power level but they're at least level 50 it's like okay i want to do something new you know something new to keep me power leveling or whatever for me that's kind of where like the the matchmaking comes into play like when i play other characters i try to quick match so that way like i'm always playing something different and like i'm at least playing with like one other person but i can see that like catching up real quick our work hasn't been in vain it turns out the hives we've destroyed have all been prototypes for something much larger and much harder to take out 
Aim is close to completing a super high. If it took me about a week to get all my heroes to and enough 50 security to and stop at least any single Avenger, power this 100, production factory is enough to flood the streets of America I think it's with aim everyone else who plays casually. You can't allow this thing about to two months up to get all the heroes to 50 and 150. And it's going to take the yeah. full might of the Avengers but to take it down. Then when the new hero drops next month, then what? Like you get one hero with their own storyline, their own iconic mission maybe a new area but that's not enough because then you're gonna have a month to raise that character's level to the max and power level max until the next month right mm -hmm. but that's not that, that that's not enough content like it's i think i think when they do their next spay update i think it's gonna be more like like super hives aren't out yet right i'm also stuck at the black screen yeah, me too. Just wait. I'm gonna get to main menu. Don't crash. <laughs> oh my god. For you, Pat? Yeah, I almost crashed. Yeah. <laughs> I would have been real mad. Um. Yeah. The thing is, I. I am hopeful for it, though. Either way, like, whether it's not soon. Or later i think eventually everything will be sorted out so um i have hope that they can like take in everyone's feedback and adjust to it and everything and the nice thing is is they're actually saying like okay tell us what you want tell us what you you think would be good and i mean just from watching like the latest um were able to like they did say another social space was going to come the whatever other highs will come to uh oh i do have another step complete the last avenger standing mission chain are hives like the only end game content really uh elite yeah. hives so, so that's like that's what it basically yeah it's, it's a hive basically <laughs> when you get through the objectives it's just a everything becomes elite so like you do all the missions and then you get an elite version of that same mission and then you get more missions and then you get an elite version of that mission so it's literally like kind of like a, it's straight up, i mean to be honest it is a copy and paste but um but yeah I want you to pray before you actually do that hive mission. What the the next one? Yeah, uh, and I'll tell okay. you why. That mission has fifteen floors, and it's not oh. easy. It's not. Oh Jesus! And on top of that, you have to gamble with getting crashed within the middle of all those floors. Uh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> So, oh boy. Um, I think I'm gonna wait on doing it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> anyways, good call. But yeah, uh, the first time I did it, I got to floor 14 out of 15, and I crashed. Jeez. After a good 40 minutes of putting in the time to completing all those floors. Yeah. And then the second time I finally finished it. And when critically injured to granite and vulnerability buff. Hmm. Pat, are you still in that uh, mission? Yeah, but I'm really close to being done. Okay. Um, I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick, and then... Good. Right, so. I'm going to grab something to drink. <laughs>